500 kilometers above the Earth, Alesky Leonov took the first step into space. This 50-year-old footage is almost as seminal as the achievement itself, bringing audiences closer to space than many could ever imagine. An exhibition celebrating the 50th anniversary of the first spacewalk shows how such images stirred public sentiment and how technology continues to bring the experience down to Earth. As time has passed, astronauts have had greater and greater access to photographic technologies. Um, they moved to digital cameras back uh, about just over a decade ago, which has really uh, just exploded the possibilities. And recently, astronauts are even tweeting images from space now, which is really great. Dr. John Grunsfeld has completed spacewalks totaling 58 and a half hours. He's either the photographer or the subject of these images. What you see is the reflection in the skin of the Hubble Space Telescope of the Earth and the space shuttle and me. This is, and you can see I'm holding a camera. So this is a selfie that I took on the last spacewalk after we'd finished all of the repairs. Before photography, it was up to artists to convey the sense of space. This painting by Norman Rockwell was commissioned to show the first lunar landing before it actually happened. And art can be found in surprising places, like the reflection in the gold visor of a space helmet, a simple display of spacesuit gloves, and even in the cupboard of astronaut Neil Armstrong. This is a 16 millimeter camera. It was actually found at the bottom of Neil Armstrong's closet. Turns out it was the camera that was used in the lunar module on Apollo 11. So this is the camera that filmed some of the first images of the landing on the moon. Absolutely, it filmed the landing and then went on to be used to film the first moonwalk as well. So it's a really spectacular piece to have here in the exhibit. Okay, my feet are up. I think I'm dragging a little bit so I don't want to fire the gun yet. Three months after Leonov's 1965 spacewalk, Ed White became the first American to take the leap. And now spacewalks are routine, but no less incredible. I find it exhilarating, but not in a adrenaline rush kind of way. Uh, it's in more of a fantastic way, a uh, dreamlike way, because it's such a different environment for the senses that it seems unreal. The art and technology in this exhibition gives shape to that dream and makes walking in space a little more real for earthbound explorers. Jane O'Brien, BBC News, Washington.